Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, raised in Thailand, we talk about multilingual learning today, and we're going to talk about something very specific. How can it be that statistically your little kid is more likely to have more empathy than other kids and also is actually more likely to become an actor. You see all the people in here. Uh, today I'm in Hilton Hotel because I come here for this restaurant you see in the background here. It's called Alberto. But all the people here, like the people in the reception, the bellboy, Everybody who works in this place, they have their own role that they play. And so they become very good at playing this role. So they, they can do a good job. When you have multiple languages, you are playing multiple roles. And all of these roles are connected to a culture which has a language. So for the bellboy in this hotel, he only gets to practice one particular role while if you're a multilingual child you might be you might get a glimpse into two or three different cultures and so you get to play two or three different roles and thus you get a lot of exposure to what are the differences between these cultures how is the personality in these different cultures? That's one aspect of it. But it's also the fact that, if we go a little bit meta here, it's also the fact that you are switching between roles, which most kids don't do. So just the switching part comes with a lot of benefits in itself, not even considering what you learn when you switch. I mean, what you what those different roles gives you is one thing, but switching between the roles is a different thing. So look at the infinite mirror here with me and Selena. So you can imagine that each of the versions of ourselves in here is in a different world with different rules, different, a different universe. And when you are in one universe, you learn one thing. When you are in a different universe, you learn something else and then you get to bring knowledge from all these different universes back into yourself. So playing all these different roles will make your child better to play roles. And what do actors do? Yeah, they play different roles. So it's kind of like training your kid to become an actor, even without trying. And this is why, statistically, there are a lot of actors who are multilingual. I want to talk a little bit about the empathy part here. Why is it that multilingual children have more empathy than other children? Yeah, there are two reasons. So playing all the different roles, it's easier for the child to put her or himself in a particular situation. Imagine how it would be to be another person. Also the fact that you change between different roles in a culture will tell you that not everything is written in stone. So things might not be just the way you see it. You, you kind of get different perspectives. You, you get to see the world through different eyes. And for most children, they just think that the world is the way it is. And they have a set viewpoint on that. But when you constantly switch between two or three different cultures and different viewpoints, then you may even start to see that there are more than three, the, the three that you have. So do you think it's good for your child to have a, a little bit of a relativistic point of view to be more accepting? Write it in the comments below. And also, do you think this video is too philosophical or is it to your taste? I would love to hear your opinion. So write it in the comments below and see you later. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.